Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Delicious, our newest game in our nature line with Herbaceous and Floriferous, designed by Steve Finn. Incredible art, watercolor art from Clementine Campardu and published by Pencil First Games. Um, Delicious is a uh, flip and write, which is not, it's sort of like a roll and write, but where you're going to be flipping cards in order to collect vegetables and fruits for your backyard garden. So every player is going to have a pad and their own Pencil First Games pencil uh, to be playing. It's zero to 100, so you can play this with a wide range of people. Now, we're actually going to have Rodney from Watch It Play do a really robust how to play. But let me flip the camera around just to give you an idea of what's going to be happening. And here we have Delicious. Each player is going to get a garden sheet and a play sheet. This is the stack of them, but they'll each get one. A and uh, a pencil for his game's pencil. Actually, I mean, there's four in here. If you have more players, you'll, you'll need other pencils. And so that's what each player is going to get. Then in the community supply, you'll have two stacks of 12 of these cards. There's a couple more we've removed from play, which are the vegetables. And then there's this delicious bag inside, which has tokens that are... Uh, that's a fig, so um, fruits. Got a nice blueberry there on one side and tools on the other. And then we have our jar of honey. So that's the setup. The uh, crow is for solo only, and we'll set the crow aside. And, you know, the point here is without this piece, the area of reveal is going to be right, the flip area is going to be right here, and that's what you'd have on camera if you're playing distributed. If you're playing with your friends, it's just in the middle or in front or however you want to set up your table. And um, you'll also notice that we have these two little markers for top and bottom, which I will describe in a section. So basically, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be playing 12 rounds. We're going to flip over cards. We've got some onions, and we have some carrots here. And then in addition, we will be adding a token based on what you see here. So either it's a tool, which will have a shovel, or a fruit, which in this case will be that fig. All right, cool. And so, um, essentially, we've now revealed two, two sets. Onion with a shovel or a carrot with a fig. And as a player, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be selecting what you're going to take, and you're going to use your plant choice section. There's 12 circles here because there are 12 rounds. You can take, and I'll, I'll explain this in a second, in a second, but basically you're saying, I want one of these, both of them, I want them to be where they're supposed to go based on top or bottom, or which is, which is this one, or I want to flip them, um, which is to say I'm going to take the onions, but I'm going to use it on the bottom. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. But basically, you get them where they are, or in the opposite place, or in two, two times per game, you can just say I want both of them, and I want to put them wherever I want. Um, so everyone's going to select what they want from the middle, not take it, but just indicate it. And then we're going to start filling our garden. So one of the neat things, when before I just go and start filling, is in Delicious, you can actually either just put the letter in, if you'd like, or we have the fun of drawing in your different fruits and vegetables that you'd like to include. In fact, on the back of the rules, we have a little how to draw these simple shapes. So it's a fun way to have a little bit more fun with it. If that's not your thing, you can do the letters. Um, and you'll notice... Um, that there are these backyard sort of um, containers, not, you know, not just the ground. We've got a, a tub, we have wheelbarrow boots, you know, you can make a garden out of anything. And so we have these three containers in the top denoted by this road. This is the top vegetable containers. We have the bottom vegetable containers, again, the note, and you can see those symbols here which match these. Um, and then we have the fruit planter. So what's really important from the get-go Vegetables go in these fun containers, and the fruits go in the planter. Vegetables on this, in this portion, fruit in that portion. Um, <clears throat> so, when you select something like onions, so let's say, for example, I've chosen to put onions where they are. So I'm going to use, this is sort of your basic one. I'm going to spend one. I'm going to take the onions. Well, so the way that the onions work is you are going to pick any of these containers, and each has a different um, familiar desire. This one wants all different. This one wants pears. This one wants all the same, etc. You'll then draw in your little onion. So I don't know. I'm going to put the onion 
here. I'm going to say I'm going to go for all same onion. So again, I selected the the, the one where it's where it is, and this is in the top. So I have to put this onion in the top, and you fill bottom up in containers. So you can't fill all the way at the top. I have to start here at the bottom, but I could do either one. I'll do this one. And I'm going to work and make a little onion. Beep, beep, beep. There's my little onion. A little boop. <laughs> to each their own on this art, but it's a, it is a lot of fun. So I'll fill that in. Now, I also have the tool because I selected the onion. What the tool does is <clears throat> it allows you to look for that tool. There's always gonna be one um, within the garden. So we have one here, uh, one here, and then there's, uh, so one in the top, one in the bottom, and then there's gonna be one in the uh, planter area. And so uh, what you can do is if you fill that in, so if I fill this in, do, 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 I get to use the tool once here, and now I can do a wild anywhere I want. And so, I don't know, let's, let's just because I know what I'm gonna do otherwise, let's say I'm gonna do a fig. So I'm gonna make my little dumpling fig here. And I'll talk about the va how, how the scoring here works, but there's, there's my little fig. Okay, now, so that would have been my turn. I've added a onion, I use the tool, uh, and with the tool, I've now added a fig to my garden. Cool. Next round. Now, let's just say for a moment, uh, and you wouldn't necessarily, you can't necessarily be doing undoing turns, but let's say instead of that, I had chosen uh, doing both. So in this case, I still need to do top and top, which I did, and I, I, I made the fig, and but now I do bottom and bottom. Uh, uh, for the fig and the carrot. When you're placing a fruit, you'll notice there's three shapes. This is an oval. It's an oval here. There are cards that have a star and a hexagon. This just means you can place anywhere in the planter, but it needs to be in an oval. So I'm going to be following this row here, and I'm going to add that fig here. So I put that fig there. And then now I need to deal with the carrot. Carrot is in the bottom somewhere, and... Um, uh, let's add the carrot to the difference here. So this will be starting at the bottom. I'm going to make a little carrot here and start building up my carrots. So again, normally you wouldn't do, you can't, you have to pick if I'm going to do one or two, but I just want to give you an example. Had I used the swap, I could have put the onion in the bottom um, or two anywhere if I had wanted to uh, start different and do onion and carrot different. In the beginning, it's not as big of a choice, but as you start filling things up, it becomes harder because you can only put equals and equals. You, you, once I put a, an onion in there, that's now onions, right? Um, or in different categories with pairs. So you start getting limits and restrictions. In terms of scoring, just to fast forward a little bit, you'll see that in the planters, there are, or the containers here rather, there are s scores per row. Two points, seven points, ten points. As you complete, you effectively are not getting it, but you're, you're passing that point zone, and you score up to your last completed row. So if I had different fruit, different fruit, different fruit, and one, I would just get two points. But if I had done five, I would get seven. So you're trying to work your way up. If you work your way all the way up, and you are the first person to complete, um, you'll call out, hey, I finished the uh, wheelbarrow. Um, you can get a bonus point for that. So at the end of the game, like say I, f I finished first, I got all the way up, you know, with, uh, with, with, with the different fruits, I got the 10, this one would be worth 11 and you write it in here. Now we're gonna do all that scoring. So the scoring for these all works that way. In regards to the planter, it's in the corner here, probably not the easiest to see on camera, but basically you're scoring rows for all the same or different. And, you know, uh, three of the, of the same is worth three points, four, four, five, Five, well, different is three different in a row is worth one point, two point, three points. So you're making a little bit of a grade. If you, if you know the whatnot cabinet, you got a little whatnot cabinet vibe here as you're filling and sorting this. That's the heart of it. If you're the first player to finish either the top or the bottom, you get the jar of honey. And then in addition, there are a couple other ways you can turn, uh, use, a, use a fruit or vegetable to uh, have a wild or get extra bonus points. So if I pick you know, on a turn, I could put an onion um, here instead of in, in the game. And if I put an onion here, boop, boop. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. If I put an onion there, then all an onion in each container will be worth two points. Again, we're going to do, have Rodney do a really slow version, but I do want to give you an idea and an overview. Super cool 
the back of this sheet, when you're all done, is a quick scoring. So you'll add up, you know, 11, 5, 7, whatever, score, you'll add up the bottom, score, you'll add up your, your different bonuses from, from, you know, if I had three of, three of the same here, I would have written, if I had, let's say I had five figs, this would have been worth five points, I would have written a five in there. I would add a five, and then for the bonuses, and if you have the top tunnel, uh, if, the, if you have the honey, you have that. The back of this one's actually um, off-white for folks uh, who might want to also be drawing in all their little containers and coming up with what this garden looks like. So that's fun. But um, that's delicious. It is uh, a fun, you know, puzzly game where you're starting up, moving your fruits and vegetables into place, but then you're leveraging your tools to try to get your points and, you know, work through your, your limiting amount of moves as you go. But check it out. Thanks.